back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name's Shannon. I'm a full-time reseller on multiple different apps. I'm gonna start saying that if you follow Via Glow. Gloria here on YouTube, her channel's great. I'll put it here. She always says on multiple apps. I'm gonna start saying that because saying Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace is too much. So I'm everywhere. You can find me everywhere at Shani Sells. <laughs> So today's December 2nd. Um, happy December to you all. I just realized I never changed my office thingy. I have like a little wooden calendar board thing. Um, so what's going on today? So this isn't the video I should be filming. I was going to film a Mercari Tips video, which I'm going to still film that this week, guys. It's just been busy with the holiday and everything. And then I had a sponsored video, which took up a lot of time last week. So that ended up being my only video. Um, however, I'll do kind of like, I'll do kind of vlogmas. I'm not going to do vlogmas every day. It's just too much. I have too many different parts moving right now. Um, yeah, so last week was busy, the holiday. I hope you guys all had a good Thanksgiving. I also ended up cat sitting every single day um, of the week and I made another $170 doing that. They left me a really nice tip, which was amazing. I use the Rover app. If you guys are not familiar, definitely check it out. It is one of the ways that I uh, have multiple streams of income as a full-time reseller. Um, the other thing is my per diem job is my other stream of income, which restarts again, like at the first of the month, like I restart that. So vlog today is because I am doing another Rover pet sitting booking. And I feel like because I've been picking up more bookings, I'm getting pushed to the top of the search, like the algorithm, that whole algorithm thing, same thing as listing daily. I think if I'm going to um, pet sitting and getting good reviews, which I have been, that they're going to push me up further. So um, I'm going to walk a nine month old puppy, a miniature poodle named Buttons <laughs> at 1.30. So I have to leave here at like 1.15 probably. I'm going to leave a little earlier because um, I'm hoping I have no trouble finding the place. She sent me a photo of the outside, so it should be fine. Yesterday was our thrift day. I did a thrift haul over on TikTok. I've been much more active on TikTok than YouTube, which it's like, I don't know. It's just easier. TikTok, I really love. It's easy to put up a three minute video or a 60 second video. So anyway, follow me on TikTok. I've been really active over there. I'm trying to post like two to three times a day so I can get more followers and I'm up to like 14.08, so it's working. I just have to keep consistent with it. Um, anyways, so that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna get started on list day. I wanted to tell you guys about is I've been working more on my print on demand business. You can watch a video, it was from like last summer where I talked about starting print on demand. I still do it. I just haven't been making new designs, but my t-shirts that I have on my Etsy shop have been selling really well. Um, I have 40 total sales on Etsy, like, since I've been on Etsy, and 12 of those 40 sales are all t-shirts. So, um, I have certain t-shirt designs that do better than others, but I want to start making a few Christmas designs. Um, I really want to do some funny Schitt's Creek designs, because I feel like people are going to be searching for Schitt's Creek, like, funny gifts. And what I do is I go on Etsy and I try to search and see what has the least competition. So, I will search um, if I have a t-shirt idea, I will search it on Etsy and see how many results it pulls up. And if it has like a lot of results, I usually won't even bother because in my experience, I won't be pushed to the top and like my t-shirt will just get lost. But, um, the t-shirts that I have sold well were ones that didn't have as many results. So that's what I'm going to do. I was hoping to get some t-shirt designs done today. I have one that I just need to put on some mock-ups which is between print on demand reselling full-time pet sitting i have like what feels like three businesses right now plus a per diem job so i feel like i have like 10 jobs which honestly when you're a business owner that is just the way that it is a lot of the times you kind of have all of these things together that make your income full-time and that's the way i prefer to do it because if one thing's slow then the other is better and I really do want my pet sitting business to start picking up more. So I'm also going to advertise that on Facebook Marketplace. Um, 
and kind of like screenshot my rover account and that I have good reviews and hopefully I'll get some traction from that too. So I've been talking for eight minutes about I don't know what, so I'll see you guys in I picked this hat up yesterday, right? And I went to um, my Honey Hole Thrift, which is an hour away. They have a bag sale. And I went there yesterday. Really fun, had some good stuff. But I found this hat. And of course, you know, I pick up, if you watch my channel, you know, I pick up hunting stuff because I take advantage of the seasons and I sell a lot of men's hunting stuff. I didn't realize till right now that it has a flashlight on the front. So right there is a flashlight and right here is a button to press it. It just needs batteries. Um, I got quite a few items, but I'll show you guys a few. I thought this was cute. This is just Target Mossimo, but obviously for the holidays, it should sell. I found a pair of dance goes, which was a good find. I actually haven't really found these brown leather ones before, so I didn't look up any comps for them. These were a great find, guys. So, Ariat, there's the logo. So, a lot of resellers talk about their, I think, cowboy boots, cowgirl and cowboy boots, but these were clogs, so I figured it's a good brand. They're, like, really nice leather. Um, so... I brought these upstairs yesterday and I had Shiloh up here and she actually ended up chewing a little piece off of it, that little shit. So I have to just close that now, but I thought those were really nice. And I found quite a few 100% wool items um, in silk. So I found this little silk cardigan. It's 100% silk and it has these little like uh, shell buttons. So I'm not sure how that will do. Um, I got this holiday scarf, thought this was cute for Christmas, and it's kind of like a sort of velvety feel. New York Jets brand new hat because I was thinking about a gift, someone could buy this for a Christmas gift. Um, it was only a retail value of $20, so I'll probably list it for $20. Uh, this was a great find. So this brand I have to look up, Kieran, but I bought this because it is wool and cashmere. It's 95% wool, 5% cashmere. And it's a nice ruffly cardigan. I was going to list this yesterday, but I want to model it because I think it will do it better justice. Um, it's a size medium, so it's going to be a bit big on me. But I bought this vintage sweater. The brand is Izod. It's actually vintage Izod. I thought this was really pretty for the holidays with that little paisley design. Um, and I didn't even realize so right now this part is like 3D. So that's cool. Here is another... A wool item 100% pure Italian merino wool so this is really pretty this is a deep purple it's got these blingy buttons and the tag is ripped out but I think it might have been like Ann Taylor Loft or something maybe Banana Republic thing so I recently picked up a Coldwater Creek item I don't normally pick it up but it sold really fast and it was because the style was very on trend it was like a embroidered black multicolor like boho top and i think i put cottage core in the listing title it's sold within minutes so i picked this up and i'm trying to show you the top and the bottoms where's the top okay i think the top's in the other back so i picked these up these are cold water creek but they have a matching top it's a set so if i could show you that that would be great but i think it's in the other back percent wool size 16 um peacoat dress i don't even know what you'd call this i'll have to do research but again picked it up because it's 100 percent wool and it's a good size ll bean loafers ll beans actually been doing pretty well for me so i am excited to see how those do and i got this i'm sorry this is like all over the place but i am trying to be kind of quick this is an eileen fisher pair of pants the tags falling off there but they're nothing special eileen fisher usually is not anything special but I think I'm going to send this to thread up because I cannot give away Eileen Fisher. Like I literally just sold a tank top last night that's been listed forever and it's only because I am running a sale in my eBay shop and I only made like, what did I make? I made $10.91 after fees and shipping, which isn't too bad considering literally how long it's been sitting and it was 100% silk. So I just don't know why I can't sell Eileen Fisher. Of that set that I was showing you from Coldwater Creek, I'm gonna get this listed today. This That's the inside. It's a hoodie, like, button-up hoodie thing. I thought this was cool, and I think someone will want it. Um, I picked up two 100% wool hats. 
This one I've already listed and I did model it and I actually think it's really cute and I kind of wanted to keep it, but I'm like, where will I wear this, you know? Um, I am going to see the Nutcracker with my mom this weekend. This would be really cute to wear. Perhaps I will wear it. It was a little bit small on me, which is crazy because I have a tiny head, but this is 100% wool, really cute. Um, I have to do research on this brand. It actually says Franklin and Lasso of Ink, Boston. So I will do research on that. And the size is written right on there, which is real nice. Those two, um, the red one's already been listed on Etsy, Depop, Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. <laughs> the other one I haven't listed yet, but it will be listed also on Etsy. This is another item that will be listed on Etsy. It's Diane von Furstenberg. It is polyester, but it's got a silk vibe. But I picked it up because it's very holiday-esque with the red color and it's got like the puffs. I don't know what this is called. This vintage silk scarf because I thought it was pretty. And it's got like some, you know, ships and things like that. Travel scarf. I thought it was cool. This is a J. Jill uh, linen and cotton shirt. I only really pick up J. Jill if it's like a certain style, like if it says the style name on it or if it's got a nice fabric content and that one did. These were a pair of Lululemon men's shorts, which this is my first time finding uh, Lululemon men's. I've sold it before for a flip client, but these were like mixed into the shorts and I almost gave up looking at the shorts because Honestly, I was bored and I was like, it's winter. What am I doing looking in here? And literally as I was about to give up, I found that. So I was like, yes. This is um, Meadow Rue by Anthropology. It needs to be washed, but I wouldn't pick this up at a normal thrift store. But since I was at a bag sale, uh, this is another L.L. Bean item. I find that the um, outdoor items like this do well, like hiking shirts, things like that. Pretty do pretty well. So and then the last item, I actually picked this up for me, and I'm not sure if it's going to fit me. It's actually a medium, so we'll see. Um, but it's caution to the wind, and it's like a tie front long sleeve. I need more basic long sleeve shirt. This cardigan, but what I really like about it is it's got a hood, and it's really soft. Anyway, I'll try to vlog for you guys later if my battery or my thing doesn't shut off. It is 3.09 p.m., I just got back from dog sitting. It was good. The dog's really cute. Um, I've hit a wall exhaustion wise. I definitely need another coffee, which will be my third today. Um, but I have a funny story to tell you guys. So uh, yeah, I dog sat. I didn't get any footage like video wise. Shiloh's in here. Um, but I did get some photos I will include here. Um, the dog was super cute. Their apartment was so cool. It was like a loft style brick on the inside. She had like the coolest furniture. It looked like it was all from like Anthropology or Pier 1. But anyway, so on the way home, I was like, I have to stop for milk because I had spoiled milk in my coffee this morning, I told you guys. So I had to stop for milk. Really wanted to stop for my creamer, but to do that, I had to go to the grocery store and I am just the type of person that cannot go to the grocery store for like one thing. It gives me so much anxiety. Just the grocery store in general gives me anxiety. So, like, I only go if I need to do a big trip, basically. So, I go to CVS. I'm like, let me just get milk. And then I also wanted to look for some holiday nail polish because clearly my nails look terrible. I need to cut them and file them and paint them. Um, so, I go there and I hear this lady talking. I'm up by the register. I'm doing self, like, waiting for self checkout. There was this girl in front of me. And I go up and I hear this lady. I'm like, this voice sounds so familiar. I look over. It's this really, really weird lady that had the strangest yard sale over the summer that I've ever been to in my life. Ugh, I can't even explain it to you guys. So she had this yard sale and it was basically all junk. She kept trying to sell me this really nasty pair of like ugly brown like heels that I didn't want. Um, she kept like asking me if I was going to buy something and she was like, oh, it's bad luck to be the first one at a yard sale and not buy anything even for 50 cents. Like she just was pressuring me and made me feel so uncomfortable and like seriously like wouldn't stop talking to the point where I was backing away to my car, like giving her so many hints that I wanted to leave. So I finally escaped. This lady had this yard sale all summer, left the stuff out in the rain, had it like a sign, oh, yard sale, big yard sale every weekend. I was like, oh my God. She was just really weird, like gave me weird vibes, like, like, might murder you type of vibe. So anyway, so I 
I hear her talking to this guy and I'm like, oh God, it's this woman. And I look over and she's talking to this guy that she clearly doesn't know. And she's like, oh, that girl's pretty, isn't she? She has a really pretty side profile. I can just tell when someone's pretty just by looking at their side profile. And it was, she was talking about the girl in front of me, I think, that was at self-checkout who had just left. Talk to the guy that she didn't even know, talking about some girl that she didn't even know about her physical looks. Weird vibes, and I was like, rushing to the self-checkout, like 312, I still have to finish my listings on Poshmark. I'm finding, I'm finding it a lot easier lately to take my um, photos and then do drafts on Poshmark on my phone and then finish the listings on my computer. It just seems a lot faster. So that's what I've been doing every day, and I really, really like it so far. So. I did a few of them this morning and I think I have like three or four more to do and then I have to cross list all of those to Poshmark and eBay and Mercari. Um, I mean eBay and Mercari. I also did a little TikTok video that took me longer than I would have liked. It's like a little holiday video. I can't play the music because of copyright stuff on YouTube but I can probably show you guys like what I made. I just was modeling some holiday stuff that I have for sale. Um, follow me on TikTok because I've been really active over there and I had a lot of fun doing that, but it took me a while. So we're going to finish our listings on the computer, cross list everything. I think I'm going to go downstairs and finish that on the couch while I drink a coffee under the blanket. Um, and the rest of the day, pretty much that's what I'm going to do, do listings. And I think I might work on YouTube tonight and possibly try to at least get one more t-shirt design, like uploaded i wanted to get like another t-shirt done so two really quick things i finally made some referral money for my list perfectly uh referral link so if you guys clicked that in my description and you signed up thank you so much um i've made over ten dollars now so they pay you a month behind so it looks like i have a payout coming um probably this month because they send it a month after and then this one is the one i just got i know it's not a lot but it's just really awesome that i'm finally making money from YouTube, like even if it's a little bit. So that's super exciting. And I also wanted to show you guys so one more thing. We finally reached a thousand watch hours in the last year. I'm so excited. Um, I know that this is like, a, I'm still a very small channel, but it's just so amazing that I'm finally getting somewhere with YouTube and it's taken me like over two years to get here. But um, that's because I finally started figuring out how to do my videos properly to make them actually be found so 3,000 more watch hours to go until I'm monetized but um yeah we're gonna be patient and keep uh, working hard on that so yeah um definitely is due to my two videos that have over a thousand views they have over 1500 views each so I definitely have to do more videos like that and I think I could get there faster than Definitely get there faster than if I'm doing like vlogs and stuff like I've been doing. So I really wanted to do that Mercari tips video today, but it's already three o'clock and I have so much to do um, for listings. So it's so hard to focus on the things that aren't making you money yet, but you know that they could when you have the things that make you money right now. And you know what you have to do for that is so much work. And by that, I mean listings, photographing, reselling, general reselling stuff but YouTube is like a side thing that I know has potential um, I've already had two sponsored videos they were from the same brand but the fact that I'm not even monetized yet and I've made I've made about $150 from YouTube already and more than that if you count that referral so that's really amazing considering I'm such a small channel so um, I have been reaching out to more brands um, and I figure like the worst they can say is no. <laughs> I do have one brand that said they would work with me on Instagram, which is awesome. So uh, they're gonna pay me to do two stories. So that's another thing I have to work on. I'm sitting with my lights in the back. I realize I have not shown you guys any of my Christmas decor this year and I wanna do that in a minute. But first I have to show you what this little scutch has been doing. So yeah, this scutch. So, <laughs> I have these um, dollar store gift bags under here for like decoration because I think it looks cute and I have this one too because it looks kind of like a gift, you know? And um, just for a little something extra until we wrap the presents because otherwise the under the tree looks too bare to me. So Rennie has been peeking in this bag 
like every day. And I will find him like digging in it. Little scritchy boy. But let me just show you guys really quick. So it's a little bit messy over here because I was just listing over here and I have my cups here. But here's what we did this year. I should be like doing this officially and not just like, yeah. Anyway, I'll show you guys anyway. Um, so I got this pillow this year at TJ Maxx and this blanket I've had. It was a gift actually. Um, this is super cute. I got this at Target this year and it's a little advent thing and you take the, their Velcro so they just stick on there. And I did two already since it's only the 2nd of December. And then this blanket I got from a thrifting friend. Her channel is Alana Swan. I'll leave it below. It is a really pretty Christmas tree blanket. And again, I know everything's a mess, but that's what that's there. I put my tractor supply present underneath. And our tree has different settings. So right now I have it on this one, but it can also do like plain white, you know, where it stays and it doesn't blink. Um, I think this looks really cute. So this pillow is from Wayfair because I had to order a um, dish drying rack and I ordered that so that I could get free shipping and it was on sale. It was like $12. And then this sled we've had and we just put lights on it. So, okay, this is from Target this year. This house was an amazing find at the thrift store only like last week and it was new at Tags and it's from that HGTV um, set of brothers, I think it is, that has a show. I don't remember what it's called, but they make that. And this was an amazing thrift store find yesterday. It's a vintage from 1998. I would never leave this plugged in for like a long time because it does have an old plug. Um, a lot of this stuff I've had already. This advent tree was new this year. Frankie got that for me. And this Santa Claus was thrifted. And I think he's a really good find. So there's what we have going on over there. And it's a little bit dark right now, but over here we have this advent banner from Target last year. And this was from the dollar store. Um, this was a gift actually. I think all of this was thrifted right here. This was thrifted, this was thrifted. This is a cute little glass jar I've been using to put our coffee in. I really love that. And that's pretty much it for the decor, except in the hallway I have, in the kitchen I have a couple things. I have to do the dishes, I just started doing that. Um, I just have this little tree from Target and some garland. I would like to put real garland, but we'll see. And then I also have another one of those trees from Target. Table is really simple. I might like add more, um, but I don't think I'm gonna buy any more decor. This, this little cute tea towel was from Target this year. And I'm making oatmeal cookies. Guess who got this at a yard sale this summer for 50 cents? This girl. Two things to tell you. I just made a really nice Mercari sale. Second one of the day, someone purchased a pair of snowboard pants that I had laying in my basement. I forget if I told you guys this. I just listed them, I think yesterday or the day before. Bought them full price. I made like $70. These were just sitting in my basement. Couldn't believe it. And I just made another sale for a flip client, $65. So I made $23.81 after fees and after splitting with them. So I'd say that's a pretty good profit. They originally wanted to offer me 50. I messaged them back and I will do this a lot. I'm honest with buyers and I'll say, hey, I'm selling this on consignment, which means we're splitting profit after fees and shipping. Can you do this price? And it actually worked this time. Third thing I wanna tell you, I just made another sale and I sold uh, one of my vintage Christmas sweaters and I just did that TikTok today and I also posted it on Instagram so I'm wondering if someone saw it over there if you happen to be watching this let me know I really appreciate it they bought their really cute one with gingerbread all over it gingerbread men all over it it's so cute so if you're watching thank you so much but that just means the world to me especially if someone sees it on like 
social media if I've posted it or something that's really cool so anyway I hope you guys liked the video and please make sure to comment like and subscribe I will be doing more vlogmas videos I'm doing vlogmas kind of because I'm not doing it every day it's just too much I have too many things going on between I already told you guys my business full-time my pet sitting my per diem job YouTube TikTok like it's just a lot um, so I will be doing it when I can, but I'm hoping these cookies are gonna come out too because I, they, they seemed a little weird. Like they weren't forming correctly, so I'm gonna see what happens. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. One more Bye. thing, here's the nail polish I bought today, guys. Um, interesting, like I've never actually done white nail polish, so I thought this would be cute to do underneath the green. So I'll show you guys how it shows up in my next vlog.